Hey guys, it's Mike here for a new motion page tutorial. So today I will show you how to do this really cool effect, a scroll bar effect. As you can see, it plays while scrolling and it looks pretty cool. So let's do that. I have my page already made with oxygen, but actually you can use any page builder. It's just a CSS effect. It should work with Gutenberg too, I think. For the effect, we, we have this page here with different other effects. And we are going to use that one, which is basic one here. So basically, what it does, it uses a linear gradient with a variable d from 0 to 100% on over. And it creates this line. So we will use the same code. Let's copy just this part. We don't need the other effect. And we will paste it in our custom CSS here. Let's change the name to uh, underline FX. We can remove the transition. OK. And that's it. For the text, we will select some text. So with the text element of oxygen, we can uh, convert some text into span here. So we will do that. Let's select some text uh, here, span, and maybe a bit further. Let's select here. Okay, so now we have our text with two span elements here and there, and we will apply the effect to this span. So let's put the class for that one and underline fx for that one too. Now to test if it works well, let's go back to our CSS and let's change here the position to 100%. Okay, so as you can see, we have our underline effect, the same as this one here, but uh, it applies for the full block because, because, ah yes, because it's with oxygen, when we convert the text here with the span, the span has a display somewhere here. We have a di display inline block and we need inline instead, as you can see before, by default is inline block and we have to change it to inline. You see the difference here, our text and inline. Now it's a real underline effect. So it works fine here. Let's change the color to make it look a bit more, uh, a bit more obvious. I have, I think I have a yellow somewhere here. It look a bit better and uh, make it a bit thicker. I don't know, 20. 15. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's put back zero to our variable. Okay, let's save that. Now in motion page, I will load the page here. So what we have to do is very simple. We select the scroll trigger element to we use a class we just have created underline fx and for the custom property the d which is a variable more than hundred percent okay we can see it already here and then we have to select lock on scroll bar okay and now you can see it's playing, except that the start on end viewport are a bit too wide. I want it to start here and finish there. And uh, here, let's change that to, um, so, I don't know, maybe 50% or, I don't know, 40% and here, maybe 80 Okay, let's do that. 
I know it starts to play like this. Yes, I forgot one thing. Because it will apply them all at the same time, we have to select, trigger each iteration individually. So now they will all play when they appear here. And that's it. Just a couple of seconds with motion page and it's made already. Let's try that here. We hold the page. Just uh, one little thing here to understand. I will remove, uh, I will uh, lower the delay. If you don't want any delays, it means it will be like this. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I prefer with some delay. It's a bit more uh, smoother. So what it does, the animation will start when it reaches the start viewport here. You can see here, it start, and then it will stop here, as you can see, when the end of the animation which the end, the start of the viewport, or the end viewport. Not easy to explain, but actually it's very clear when you see these two lines. But I prefer when it's here, which means it will start here and finish when it switch the end viewport, not when it ends. So you can see, oh, it's finished here. Instead of finishing here, it's finished here. So the text looks like this. Anyway, it's just some uh, little option. You can play with it. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial.